death. This five-letter word is one that everybody thinks about, but no one enjoys talking about. <clears throat> we spend our lives evading death. Yeah. Interesting assumption. And we hate it when it robs us of someone we love. <clears throat> yeah. High pollen count day. Hot as hell out, too. <clears throat> For most, it remains a foreboding mystery. But by the end of this magazine, you will be comforted and reassured in a way that may surprise you. Pray tell. Oh, hang on. Let's get in the spirit. Mm. Cleanse in the palate. Mm -mm. Anyway. Mm. <coughs> Questions that never go away. What happens when we die? This short, simple question has generated countless books, inspired lively debates, helped turn movies into blockbusters, and even prompted extensive investigation by the scientific community. But we but but can we know where people go after their bodies completely shut down? After their heart stopped beating? After they flatlined? What lies beyond the grave? Is it heaven, hell, purgatory, reincarnation? Some undefinable plane of existence or possibly nothing at all? Do we possess an immortal soul that lives on in some ghost-like form? Or do real physical bodies await us where wicked people are punished eternally and righteous people are awarded eternal bliss? Or do we simply seek to exist, turning back into dust. <clears throat> A taste of the hereafter is what we're here after. <laughs> we all know the certainty of death. Benjamin Franklin said, in this world, Nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. But who speaks the truth about what happens after death? Hmm. Break out your Ouija boards, I guess. <laughs> um. It seems everyone from celebrities to world leaders have an opinion about dying. The famous Hollywood director Woody Allen quipped, I don't want to achieve immortality through my work. I want to achieve immortality through not dying. <sighs> the, the, the communist dictator and atheist Joseph Stalin, Stalin, Stalin I mean, where did he get his education? Oh, that's right, the church, right? Uh, Joseph Stalin bluntly stated, death 
is the solution to all problems. No man, no problem. Yeah, he was looking at it from the other direction, you know. Somebody else being dead is no longer his problem. And maybe when they were breathing, they might have been. Even potentially were. Yeah, let's all, let's judge all atheists by the standards of one guy. <laughs> As if atheism is a club you join. <laughs> they can't kick you out of atheism. Because it ain't anything. Sorry to get all educated on you there. <sighs> Political activist Huey Newton admitted, My fear was not of death itself, but a death without meaning. And Billy Graham, the famous televangelist, shared, No matter how prepared you think you are, for the death of a loved one, it still comes as a shock, and it still deep, hurts very deeply. He should be rejoicing if he believes all the shit he believes. I mean, one would think, right? But hey, you know what? Great. Welcome to the human race. We all feel that way. I mean, if if you got any kind of, uh, you know, if you got all your equipment, you know, all, this, all the wet wear that you require like empathy and a little imagination where you can like walk in someone else's shoes a little bit or at least try, you know, try to get it. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Most viewpoints, however, leave us hanging regarding the facts. Scientist and artist Leonardo da Vinci said, as a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Most of us, in parentheses here, uh, most of us would never think to say happy death, Sigmund Freud believed. The goal of all life is death. And musical genius Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart shared, I thank, my, I thank my God for graciously granting me the opportunity of learning that death is the key which unlocks the door to our true happiness. Yeah, let's take uh, Wolfgang's advice there. Wasn't didn't he, like, die real young and uh, was kind of out of control? Maybe not the best example. <sighs> but, hey, famous, and you could find him in, you know, the Bartlett's quotes or something. Uh, indeed. There is no shortage of philosophical views on the afterlife. But we all, but all we really want are solid, dependable, straightforward answers, right? And that's the. Uh, we're gonna stop at the page, top of page five. Anyway, I'm gonna break this up into digestible bits because I don't want to cheat the author. So I'm just helping out, and I want you to chime in. Anybody out there watching, let me know if you learned something. Maybe it's an insight I missed and would like to not miss. So, yeah, pray tell. Anytime. Nobody gets blocked on my channel. I mean, not yet. Hasn't happened, and I've been at it a long time. <laughs> With negligible results, and that's fine. Anyway. More to come.